day of September, and we're going to be reading Ezekiel chapters 22 and 23 this afternoon. But first, I'd like to greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. Amen. And if he's not your Lord and Savior today, well, today is the day to trust him and call upon him to save your soul, and he will redeem you and wash away all your sin, and then you can be reconciled with God. And, uh, Amen. So, uh, as the Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Alright, so we're going to be covering chapters 22 and 23 today. Uh, and so let's get started here. If you have your Bible handy, you can join along with me. Alright, chapter 22 and verse 1 says, Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Now thou son of man, wilt thou judge Wilt thou judge the bloody city? Yea, thou shalt shew her all her abominations. Then say thou, thus saith the Lord God, The city sheddeth blood in the midst of it, that her time may come, and maketh idols against herself to defile herself. Thou art become guilty in thy blood that thou hast shed, and hast defiled thyself in thy idols in thine idols which thou hast made, and thou hast caused thy days to draw near, and art come even unto thy years. Therefore have I made thee a reproach unto the heathen, and a mocking to all countries. Those that be near, and those that be far from thee, shall mock thee, which, are, which art infamous and much vexed. Behold, the princes of Israel, every one were in thee, uh, every one were in thee to their power to shed blood. In thee have they set light by father and mother. In the midst of thee have they uh, dealt by oppression with the stranger. In thee have they vexed the fatherless and the widow. Thou hast despised my mine holy things, and hast profaned my sabbaths. In thee are men that carry tales to shed blood, and in thee they eat up the mountains. In the midst of thee they commit lewdness. Oh. Uh, in thee have they discovered thy, their father's nakedness. In thee have they uh, humbled her that was set apart for pollution. And one hath committed abomination with his neighbor's wife, and another hath lewdly defiled his daughter, daughter-in-law, and another in thee hath humbled his sister, his father's daughter. In thee have they taken gifts to shed blood. Thou hast taken usury and increase, and thou hast greedily gained of thy neighbors by extortion, and hast forgotten me, saith the Lord God. Behold, therefore I have smitten mine hand at thy dishonest gain which thou hast made, and at thy blood which, has, which hath been in the midst of thee. Can thine heart endure, or can thine hands be strong in the days that I shall deal with thee? I, the Lord, have spoken it, and will do it. And I will scatter thee among the heathen, and despise Burst thee in the countries, and will consume thy filthiness out of thee. And thou shalt take thine inheritance in thyself in the sight of the heathen, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, the house of Israel is to, to me become dross, and they are brass, and tin, and iron, and lead in the midst of the furnace. They are even the dross of the silver. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Because ye are all become dross, behold, therefore I will gather you into the midst of Jerusalem. As they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin into the midst of the furnace to blow the fire upon it, to meet, uh, melt it, so will, so will I gather you in mine anger and in my fury, and I will leave you there and melt you. Yea, I will gather you and blow you up uh, and blow upon you 
in the fire of my wrath, and ye shall be melted in the midst thereof, as silver is melted in the midst of the furnace, so shall ye be melted in the midst thereof, and ye shall know that I, the Lord, have poured out my fury upon you. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, say unto her, Thou art the land that is not uh, uh, cleansed, nor reigned upon in the day of indignation. There is a conspiracy of her prophets in the midst thereof, like a roaring lion ra uh, ravening, or ravening the, the prey. They have devoured souls. They have taken the treasure and precious things. They have made her many widows in the midst thereof. Her priests have violated my law and have profaned mine holy things. They have put no difference between the holy and profane. Neither have they shewed difference between the unclean and the clean, and have hid their eyes from my Sabbaths, and I am profaned among them. Her princes in the midst thereof are like wolves ravening the prey, to shed blood and to destroy souls, to get dishonest gain, and her prophets have dabbed them with untempered mortar, seeing vain vanity and di uh, uh, divining lies up un unto them, saying, Thus saith the Lord God, when the Lord hath not, hath not spoken it. The people of the land have used oppression and exercised robbery, uh, and have vexed the poor and needy. Yea, they have oppressed the stranger wrongfully. And I sought for a man among them that should make up the hedge and stand in the gap before me for the land, that I should not destroy it, but I found none. Therefore have I poured out mine indignation upon them. I have consumed them with the fire of my wrath. Their own way have I uh, recompensed upon their heads, saith the Lord God. Oh, he is not uh, pleased with Israel. Chapter th uh, 23 The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Son of man, there were two women the daughters of one mother, and they committed whoredoms in Egypt. They committed whoredoms in their youth. There were th uh, there were their breasts uh, pressed, and uh, they there they bruised the teats of their virginity, and the names of them were uh, Hola the elder and uh, uh, Hol Holaba her sister, and they were mine. And they were, and they bare sons and daughters. Thus were their names. Samaria is Ahola, and Jerusalem ah Aholaba, and Ahola played the harlot when she was mine, and she doted on her lovers, on the Assyrians, her neighbors, which were clothed with blue, captains and rulers, all of them desirable young men, horsemen riding upon horses. Thus she committed her whoredoms with them, with all them that were the chosen men of Assyria, and with all on whom she doted, with all their idols she defiled herself. Neither left she her whoredoms brought from Egypt, for in her youth they lay with her, and they bruised the breasts of her virginity, and poured their whoredoms upon her. Wherefore I have delivered her into the hand of her lovers, into the hand of the Assyrians, upon whom she doted. Uh, these discovered her nakedness. They took her sons and her daughters, and slew her with the sword. And she became famous among women, for they had executed judgment upon her. And when her sister Aholaba saw this, she was more corrupt in her uh, inordinate love than she, and in her whoredoms more than her sister in her whoredoms. She doted upon the Assyrians, her neighbors, captains and rulers clothed mo uh, most uh, gorgeously, horsemen riding upon horses, all of them desirable young men. Then I saw that she was defiled, that they took both one, uh, that they took both one way, and that she increased her whoredoms, 
for when she saw men uh, portrayed uh, upon the wall, the images of the Chaldeans portrayed with uh, vermilion, uh, girded with girdles upon their loins, exceeding in dyed attired upon their heads, all of them princes took uh, to look uh, uh, to after the manner of the Babylonians of Chaldea, the land of their nativity. And as soon as she saw them with her eyes, she doted upon them and sent messengers unto them in Chaldea. And the Babylonians came to her into the bed of love, and they defiled her with their whoredom, and she was polluted with them, and her mind was alienated from them. So she discovered her whoredoms, and discovered her nakedness. Then my mind was alienated from her, like as my mind was alienated from her sister. Yet she multiplied her whoredoms in calling to remembrance the days of her youth, wherein she had played the harlot in the land of Egypt, for she doted upon their uh, paramours, whose flesh is as the flesh of asses, and whose issue is like the issue of horses. Thus thou callest to remembrance the lewdness of thy youth in bruising thy teats by the Egyptians for the paps of thy youth. Therefore, O Aholaba, uh, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will raise up thy lovers against thee, from whom thy mind is alienated, and I will bring them against thee on every side. Uh, the Babylonians and the Chaldeans, uh, Pekod and Sh uh, Shoah and Koah, and all the Syrians with them, all of them desirable young men, captains and rulers, great lords and renowned, all of them riding upon horses, and they shall come against thee with chariots, weapons, and wheels, and with an assembly of people, which shall set against thee buckler and shield and helmet round about, and I will set judgment before them, and they shall judge thee according to their judgments, and I will set my jealousy against against thee, and they shall deal furiously with uh yeah furiously with thee. They shall take away thy nose and thine ears, and that thy remnant shall fall by the sword. They shall take thy sons and thy daughters, and the residue shall be devoured by the fire. They shall also strip thee out of thy clothes, and take away thy fair jewels. Thus will I make thy lewdness to cease from thee, and thy whoredoms brought from the land of Egypt, to that, uh, so that thou shalt not lift up thine eyes unto them, nor re remember Egypt any more. For thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will deliver thee into the hand of them whom thou hatest, into the hand of them from whom thy mind is alienated, and they shall deal with uh, thee hatefully, and shall take away all thy labor, and shall leave thee naked and bare, and the nakedness of thy whoredoms shall be discovered, both thy lewdness and thy whoredoms. I will do these things, I will do th these things unto thee, because thou hast gone a whoring after the heathen, and because thou art polluted with their idols. Mm. Thou hast walked in the way of thy sister, therefore will I give her cup into thy hand. Thus saith the Lord God, thou shalt drink of thy sister's cup, deep and large. Thou shalt be laughed a, a, to scorn, and had in derision. It containeth much. Thou shalt be f uh, filled with drunkenness and sorrow, with the cup of astonishment and uh, desolation, uh, with the cup of thy sister Samaria. Uh, thou shalt even drink it and suck it out, and thou shalt break the sh uh, shards thereof, and pluck off thine own breasts. For I have spoken it, saying, saith the Lord God. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, because thou hast forgotten me, and cast me behind th thy back, therefore, Bear thou also thy lewdness and thy whoredoms. The Lord said moreover, moreover unto me, Son of man, wilt thou judge Ahola, 
and Aholabah, yea, uh, declare unto them their abominations, that they have committed adultery, and blood is in their hands, and with their idols have they committed adultery, and have also caused their sons, whom they bear unto me, to pass for them through the fire, to devour them. Uh, moreover, this they have done unto me, they have defi uh, defiled my sanctuary in the same day, and have profaned my Sabbath. For when they had slain their children to their idols, then they came the same day into my sanctuary to profane it. And lo, thus have they done in the midst of mine house. And furthermore, that ye have sent for men to come from far, unto whom a messenger was sent, and lo, they came, for whom they didst wash, uh, wash thyself, paintest thy eyes, and deckest thyself with ornaments, and sattest upon a stately bed, and a table prepared before it, whereupon thou hast set mine incense and mine oil, and <clears throat> excuse me, and a voice of a multitude being at ease was with her, and with the men of the common sort were brought uh, Sabaeans uh, from the wilderness, which put bracelets upon their hands, and beautiful crowns upon their heads. Then said I unto her that was old in adulteries, Well, uh, will they not commit whoredoms with her, and she with them? Yet they went in unto her, and as they go in unto a, a woman that playeth the harlot, so went they in unto Ahola, and unto Aholabah, the lewd women, and the righteous men they shall <coughs> excuse me, and the righteous men they shall judge them after the manner of adulteresses, and after the manner of women that shed blood, because they are adulteresses, and blood is in their hands. For thus saith the Lord God, I will bring upon a company, up, uh, I will bring up a company upon them, and will give them to be removed and spoiled, and the company shall stone them with stones, and dispatch them with their swords. They shall slay her, or slay their sons and their daughters, and burn up their houses with fire. Thus will I uh, cause lewdness to cease out of the land that all women may be taught not to do after their lewdness, and they shall recompense your lewdness upon you, and ye shall bear the sins of your idols, and ye shall know that I am the Lord God. Mm. Wow. And that's the end of the Bible reading for today. Oh, rough stuff there. So we'll continue... Uh, Talking more about that tomorrow, I'm sure. So tomorrow we'll be covering chapters uh, 24 through 26 of Ezekiel. So look for more of that rough stuff. Um, and let's take heed to that and use that as, as examples and examples of how not to do what Israel did and uh, to be more obedient to the Lord and uh, not uh, get into the, the, those situations that they got themselves into where God was angry with them. Praise the Lord, we have Jesus, who is the mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, amen, that we can uh, come to him and and uh, have all our sins forgiven. Praise the Lord, but that doesn't mean that we're free to keep sinning. We're to uh, keep that old man dead and the flesh uh, crucified, amen. So let's learn to walk in the spirit and not in the flesh. All right, well, that'll about uh, wrap it up for today, so... Lord, we'll be back tomorrow morning for the Baptist Bread devotional and scripture song. And then uh, in the afternoon, be doing some more reading from Ezekiel. So hope you'll join me tomorrow for those broadcasts. But until then, may the Lord richly bless you and hope you have a great and wonderful rest of your afternoon. Amen. Bye-bye for now. Thanks for watching.